Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, thank you for just dropping down the kind vibes, the, the blessings that you're sending me as well as I'm sending out to you. And then just open your hearts and your mind up to different possibilities to your gift as it leads you on your current path. And for with that, before that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. If you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of the video or the content of the, the video. Or just you opening up, telling me about your life, of your impact, impact it gets, and how has it impacted you into a positive direction. And if you feel like the video has gave you good insight, or just gave you some good vibes, and you feel like, hey, you know, my, one of my friends might need, need to hear this, or one of my family members needs to hear it, go ahead and do so. And also, give me a like, thumbs up, and even share on your social media favorites. So I hope you're able to resonate with my video, and thank you so much for stopping by. And the video I'm doing today is Twin Flame 101, when empaths are seeing their pain wasn't in vain. Our pain wasn't in vain. It's just like we go through so many mishaps in our lives and it can put us in a rut. It can put us to the point where it has created and manifested uh, mental illnesses, um, different phobias, uh, certain things that we shut off from the world or we just shut off from different people. And we try to understand why things why we had to go through these things we had to go through and especially with you being an empath we soak up so much emotion we just soak up so much energy so much energy to the point where it messes with electronics um just the different vibes in the room it's just like there's sometimes i can meditate and then i can you just open my hands up and i will see like light and stuff turn you know but it's just like all the things we went through it has a purpose you know, I've done a video about, you know, um, a few months ago, well, it's been a while back, where there's there's a purpose behind your pain, and it truly is. You know, um, it's just like when you're going through something, I, you know, I don't understand. I don't know or understand what you're going through, but, you know, I, I know what I went through. I know what my situations were and what they have brought to me, what things have been laid on the table for me, and what what I see from my past has helped me create a better future for myself and it's just an amazing feeling when you can go through something that was so hurtful so damaging you know emotionally mentally financially you know um, and it was a blessing you know I always used to ask God why did I have to go through this why did I have to be separated from my family you know why when my, my, my father and my, my mother really truly loved me we were kept apart for so long and it, it was just a hurtful feeling that I had to go through and seeing that truth for what it was it wasn't pretty and it really messed me up emotionally and mentally it scarred me <laughs> for life but I can look at it and say you know I understand why I had to go through the things I had to go through because I want to learn that about myself I wouldn't known about the special abilities of being like a psychic or clairvoyant medium indigo white witch twin flame indigo oh well I said indigo INFJ empath Hayoka empath you know all these different things about myself I'm so blessed to you know be able to embrace and acknowledge and I knew there was a purpose behind it because there's so many people like me, like-minded, that have been through heartache and mishaps to where it has made them look at life different, made them even project towards people or just cut themselves off from society because of the things that they went through. And it's just a message and a voice that I can say that, you know, you can go through something so damaging and so hurtful to where, you know, you wouldn't want people to know what this feeling was about, which I, I mean, I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy because it's just a feeling that is very unbearable especially you know with my dad being a celebrity it was it still is to that point where you know 
there's so many people that have this love for him that are hurting, trying to find answers as well as I am, you know, wanting closure, and you know, you're not really getting that, and it's just like, it's amplified to the, I don't know, to the max when it comes to me, because I can feel every emotion to points where I had to shut myself off from certain groups, because the energy was so strong with sorrow to the point where I would just scream and cry and try to, you know, want to give people that comfort and try to get that closure, but I was feeling the same way. I couldn't get the closure. I just wanted to heal. And there's so many things that I hear that, you know, I have to have a tough skin for. And, you know, I see that I have to have a tough skin for. And it's just, you know, it's a whole different ball game when it's like your life is projected out to the public like that. So, you know, I knew I had to be that voice and just knowing it brought a positive impact towards a lot of people and it's helping people look at things at a different angle or look at things from a different perspective, not to be right, but just get, give you that understanding that you're not alone, even though when you feel like you're alone in this world, you're not. You know, you might be physically by yourself, but you're never spiritually alone, you know, and there's so many people out there that's like you, you know, trying to find out why, you know, what, what are the names for the things that they go through? Is there a person, if, you know, if you go to somebody and try to tell them about the things you're going through, they probably want to lock you up and give you to the moon bed. You know, I've had close friends and family members say, you need to go to a therapist and tell people about what you're going through. I said, man, if I tell them things I need to tell them, I probably would be in an asylum and never been able to get out. But, you know, it's a blessing when I can be able to project these in, in videos and and send out as much positive messages as I possibly can. And, you know, just to heal from the things I'm healing healing from. And, you know, some things are I'm still coping with and not coping with, but still dealing with. I don't want to cope with anything. It's just like you're sugarcoating something. It's like you're putting a Band-Aid on a broken leg. It's not going to work. You know, I just want to be able to heal and let go of these things. And certain things, it's just like it amazed me because the fact is I was able to heal from it. Where I can be able to tell my story without crying because that lets you know you have healed. And you can be able to tell your past and how it has affected you in ways that you couldn't even imagine. But it has brought so much strength and confidence through all my mishaps and pain and setbacks. So, you know, just continue to to work the positivity, continue to heal yourself, and continue to love yourself as well as others. Give yourself that love is where you push out for others because it's just with empaths, we have that problem to where we can show other people the utmost love, the utmost, you know, show them all the strength that you can tell them they have it, but we don't take our own advice, you know, and I had to really learn that, I had to really heal through that, you know, it's just out, out here telling people, you know, you can make it, you can get through anything, you can put your mind, you can do anything you put your mind to, and it was just like me going through my own problems and having things, you know, that was projected out to me about what my father had endured or what my family has done to me in the past and the memories that come back, you know, I had to realize that I would make it through this, I will make get through this, I will, you know, heal from this, I will get closure, you know, it might not be on my time, but I will eventually get the closure that I truly need, you know, my, my dad will have justice for his murder, um, it, it, it's just so many blessings are coming towards that way that I know that things are getting better, and I knew that the things that I went through had a purpose to serve behind it. So allow yourself to heal, allow yourself to let go of the things that, you know, tend to hold you back or make you stagnant or make you project yourself to close yourself off in the world. Because we, we need to be happy, we need to feel complete, we need to have that self-love and that confidence and strength that it is to get us through the day, you know, well enough alone through the rest of our life. We need to be able to do that and know that, you know, even though life throws us a monkey wrench or a curveball, we need, we need to be able to catch it with that big mitt. And know you're going to be able to handle that and serve it back to life with love and blessings. So I hope you were able to get something out of this video. Please stay blessed and highly favored and know you are definitely loved. And still have as much love and life and positivity as you possibly can. Drop me a, a like, give me a thumbs up, and even share on your social media favorites. Or share with your loved ones and friends. And drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And even like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video.
Know, once again, know that you are blessed and you are truly highly favored. And knowing that you are also loved. You know there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I send you out with love and light. Namaste. And have a good weekend.